Good afternoon. Today we will be presenting our strategic development plan for AstraZeneca, focusing on China as a market and our business model. So first, I'm going to introduce why we make China as our target market. As we know, the global pharmaceutical industry has maintained a sustainable growth in recent years, which is driven by the growth trend of economy, life expectancy on meat, medical needs, and the great access to healthcare. So firstly, China is our second largest market for pharmaceutical industry and fastest emerging market for this sector in 2015, with a market size of 137 billion US dollars in 2018. We are expecting this size going to be 140 to 170 billion US dollar in 2023. Secondly, there is an accelerating trend of middle class and aging population, which will present vast opportunity for this sector. Thirdly, the Chinese central government has signed increasingly priority in its healthcare provision. They want to be an important innovator for pharmaceutical products. Therefore, Chinese pharmaceutical industry capacity will continue to expand good by its great market size and growth potential. So AstraZeneca has already have a great capacity in R&D and sales in China. The proposed business model includes two main aspects to further enhance its performance in the next five years. So first of all, we recommend that the company concentrate more on specific products to increase sales performance. And this is considering the company's capabilities and market demands. We have chosen the specific products to be of the therapy areas of oncology, cardiovascular, renal and metabolism, and respiratory area. Although the big cities in China takes up a vital portion of the market, in terms of having more target consumers and a higher level of consumption. Um, the second tier cities also have a significant market potential and they're less competitive. So geographical expansion into these markets can bring significant value to the business and also strengthen its leading position in China. So since the Chinese market is one of the most important emerging markets with a huge potential, the expense on investing in the Chinese market will only increase from now. However, there will be opportunities for the company to increase its internal efficiency and lower its operational costs. So this is another approach to help the company achieve its objectives. So the below would be our predicted product sales in China for three specific products that we have selected. Um, and as you can see, if we were to follow the business model, we would have a 300% increase from 2018 till 2024. And the three products that we have selected are from the three therapy areas that we have mentioned before, so oncology, CBRM and respiratory. The three products that we have selected are Infancy, Foxiga, and PT010. And as you can see, right now we're at 30 billion. And if we were to follow this trend and the model, we would expect about 120 billion in sales by the end of 2024. And I'll hand over to Stephanie right now. Thank you. To conclude, we discuss the opportunities available to AstraZeneca in China and how we plan to expand and operate in the market. Thank you for listening and we'll try our best to answer any questions you may have.